Hi guys, I'm Raval. Welcome back to this PHP Storm tutorial series. Today we're going to be discussing how we can use version control within PHP Storm. I'm going to be using Git for my version control and um, let's go. So naturally the first thing you want to do is open up Terminal and discover the status of the project. So if you followed the tutorial before this you would understand that now we have Git Bash within our terminal within PHP Storm, so I can type something like git status, so git commands work, and you can see we're on branch master and nothing. there's nothing to commit. Just to let you know that I've already initialized a git repository here, so we're good to go. So I'm going to do Control shift w to terminate that session, and um, what I'm going to do is show you PHP Storm's version control. So um, what you're looking at right now is the log, and you can see I've already made an initial commit. On the right hand side of the screen, you can see all the files that have been committed within this commit. And on the left is, of course, just the history log. Now, I know a lot of you guys probably are used to using um, something like source tree, and you have it up on your separate screen, or it's full screen in your current screen. And this, um, you know, having it at the bottom may be a bit annoying, but you can, what you can do is um, just like terminal, move it up or down. And um, on the right hand side here, there's actually a cog and the cog can show you, you can use the cog to change the mode. So um, you can have a windowed mode, floating mode, etc. And you can have it as large as you want it to. But um, I'm fine with it like this. So if I want to see the local changes, so all I have to do is hit Alt and the right arrow key. It brings me here. If there was changes, it'll show it here. Um, if I want to go back to the log, it's Alt and right. So that is the version control so if we do shift and escape that'll close that down and let's actually make some changes so i'll just bring up my blog post controller and i'm just going to make a simple change here make a function called git test and um okay so i've made my change git test um we can do this via the terminal but i want to show you a different way by pressing alt and the back quote button that will bring up the VCS operations dialog here and we can commit changes or we can press control K. Right, so we have a little screen here that says, okay, here's all the files you've made changes to. Um, I'm just going to say add a test function in here. You can shift tab into it on the top and, you know, press space bar to uncheck or check. You can press tab to tab your way through author, revolve, and um, Again, you can tab your way through these options and um, you can actually choose whether you want to upload files. I don't. I want to commit and let's review these things. And it's just a simple warning. Fine, we can ignore that. Shift escape and we're going to go back, commit changes. Great. And we're going to go to commit. This time we can hit commit. And good, at the bottom there's a little notification that says one file committed added to test function. So we can go and check our log. And you can see at the moment we have added test function. Great, so it's added it for us. Local changes, there's none. And if you want to double check that, let's close that down. You can go to terminal, hit git status, and we clean. Thanks for watching guys, I hope this helps.